neither a player nor a detective. You know the rules and how people break them. How they leave a digital trail. And there is always a trail. A flaw in the source code. Back doors used by cheaters. Anonymity skins used to cover up unpopular activities. All can be found. All can be traced. With a lot of skill and a little bit of luck. Sometimes more than a little. Because there are surprises, even for a game deck. But in the end, you keep your eyes on the prize. This is my story. What's yours? Let me just take... She seems fun. Uh, da, 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 da. Da, da, da. She comes from the high city or the low city. Is she... I think she's a noble breed. Ah, yeah. <coughs> <coughs> so, there are <coughs> various <coughs> aspects uh, or which uh, can help you focusing in uh, uh, developing your character. The red one is like aggression, um, being determined. Um, the light bulb in yellow uh, I think is like smart intelligence. Um, the blue one was technical skills, if I can correct, uh, 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 recollect it correctly. And the last one, the green one, is something like compassion. You know, having a heart. Mm, I I think. I think I like this one. Tra mm, tradition. Or. Hedonism. Oh, let's go with tradition. Hedonism is fine, but like this. I mean, right now, it doesn't really mean much. Like, it, it, it helps with the first instance of your character creation or your character development but after a while your actions in the game will change um, or will give you points in these red yellow um, blue and green um, so be, if you're aggressive you get some red points if you uh, did the smart uh, thing you get um, or you try to, to be above you know, took the high road or something. Uh, you took get a, get a yellow one. If you're very compassionate, you get the uh, the green one. Uh, and if you're just focusing on technical solutions and engineering stuff, you get uh, the blue one. And then you can just develop your character from there. Oh. 
I didn't remember why I had become a game tech. At some point, I must have decided it was reasonable. Uh, okay. So, it shows us the dialogue options. We can... Um, there will be pop-ups, we can see that. Um, at some point, uh, I must have uh, decided that it was a reasonable way of making money. Then I just got used to it. Uh, let's call recall our career. I solved numerous cases, so people started to believe I was credible. And credibility was crucial in my line of work. Pretty much everything can be falsified. But you can't fake credibility. Games, besides being my workplace, also became my second home. Did I ever play for fun? Yes. Sometimes I did. I was surrounded by the real world, that is, realium. I could hear Warsaw City humming outside the window. I lived in Towerstone, in Wola. It was the end of the 22nd century and all the people were crazy happy. Kitty, somewhere? Ah, some weren't. Which group did I belong to? I wasn't quite sure. It was time to check if there were any new jobs. No. Okay. Use the tab for your keyboard to adjust movement speed. Left click on an interaction to interact with the objects or person. And some interactions are always visible, others will only appear when the circumstances are right, each when you are near them. Alright, so let's look out of the window. Warsaw City. My police. Walkways, squares, bays and chasms. That's what modern cities look like. The middle layer, mid-city, despite dense development, you could still see the sun on pieces of the sky, as well as the long way down. I felt a connection with the people above and below. I could hear the transit tubes pneum now. Advertisement. The humming ads, alright. It was never quiet. This was where the rich met the poor and the light met darkness. A place where you could be pretty much wherever you want to be. Right. So if I had a certain level I'd uh, be a glacier I could send the advertisement thrown away uh, yeah, and where the advertising throws peeped, peeped through people's windows looking for new victims let's look at that so this, this uh, these are the aspects here they express the personality um, you can be decisive red, analytical blue, creative yellow, and social green. Uh, you, they can unlock professions. These professions can get a special conversation. Yeah, you can move further. Um, and each profession requires a different personality. Let's look at that. For example, this spider thingy, a glacier. You're well versed in both virtual and real technologies. You know where uh, cables and virtual developers stack. Uh, and virtual developers stacks. You can open them, hack them, and change their settings. And then uh, here is a scalpel. Uh, you know how to communicate with Matty bots and how to stop a hemorrhage. And we have here the infotainer. You know how to produce a net show and how to smile to the camera. And the sleeves. A survival instinct that uh, that's what characterizes you best. Life is a game with no rules. And if you trust the system, 
it will betray you. You don't hesitate to use force for solutions. Right, now, apparently I don't meet the requirements. Why is that? All right, so. Uh, it's because there is no com... Oh no, there, there should be, no? I could either be this one. Ah, I can be a scalper. And I can be a um, infotainer. So uh, I can go into m medical or in the um, charming uh, version. So let's see. <coughs> I, put, uh, I know how to use a camera, a smile for the camera. I'm charismatic. You can turn any conversation into a media interview and transform resisting interlocutors into effusive companions. People recognize you and want photos with you. Uh, follows with you. Ah. Uh, everyone is nice to you. Almost everyone. Right. So, this will help us in some communications. This is the codex. Uh, there are informations, and not everything is uh, locked free. We now know what a game deck verse a site is and what game decks are. Um, some technologies, some organizations. It will all be unlocked uh, over time, or some of it anyway. Um, if you have a job, then uh, it starts here with. Uh, various points of information like uh, evidence and then you uh, unlock even more uh, pathways until you have uh, the case locked down right. Also, New City News, the latest domestic and international news all day long. Today is Monday, July 17th. My name is Gina Gord, and this is the news. Ken Chu, the young star of Good or Bads, loses the game miserably. Sue blames everything on glitches in the game. Could this be the end of the youngster's career? The control panel for the apartment's AI, a fine piece of software that didn't really fridge, uh, that didn't treat fridge contents as its first priority. <coughs> a log of two whales appears in the panel. Listen, thank you for purchasing a product manufactured by Blue Whales Interactive, the leader in the field of AI. Be we I never alone. You are um, activating Bliss for the first time. To start, configure the software to your liking. Damn, something has had reset my settings. Probably another failure in the um, tower or a surge upstairs. I had to reconfigure everything again. There was nothing in the system. Logs of previous activations and conversations would be in the cloud, provided they existed. Well, probably somewhere uh, too high bar for me. So yeah. Holographic figure appears in the air. Hello, my name is Bliss. What would you like to talk about? Hi, wait, what do you mean? 
Don't you remember me? Why does it everything break all the time nowadays? My computer. It controlled the, uh, the couch, communicated with household appliances, let me send messages, and did everything else. So, let's see. First things first, the games. I have White Stars. It was old and could use an upgrade, but it still worked well enough to be re reliable. Uh, there's nothing on the net, obviously. But males. Let's go. Infotainer. Fame had its price. I had hundreds of emails to ignore. I'd have my bot reply to my most dedicated fans. Uh -huh. There were also a few uh, emails from clients I had helped. Those needed replies. Okay. First uh, message. Senator Stone was grateful for working out what his daughter was doing into the dungeons uh, uh, 1337. I wrote that I was happy to hear from him and asked how his daughter was feeling. It's good to nurture relationships with clients. I got through the other emails quickly. Some were invitations to events, some were spam. I replied. So let's see what the contract say. I got the. Uh, uh, maybe someone took pity on me and offered me a job while I was away in Virtualis. A job, and it was urgent. I have a discreet and urgent matter for you. I pay good money. Please get back to me ASAP. Geoffrey Haggis. Mr. Haggis was worried. I'm, I needed to sense him. Hello, Geoffrey. Hag uh, Geoffrey Haggis. Hello, Geoffrey Haggis. I got your email. Oh, you there. Please come to see me. Blue Wales Interactive Towers, level 255, south entrance. I tell you everything when you're here. All done. Let's have a little respect for each other's time. I don't know anything about the case and I'm sure... I'm not sure whether a certain amount... I get it. You want a down payment. I'm transferring it right now. I hope it's enough. Yes? Great. I'm waiting. Mm, Alright. So we took the elevator, huh? To the upper city. The do Alfred. The director's office is behind that door. Mr. Haggis is expecting you. Well, that's nice. But I would like to sit here. Hmm, hmm. Yes, we were compassionate. The empty workspace exuded corporate solitude. The nameplate on the desk read Junior Customer Support Specialist. Itaris Ikari. Let's see. Assess the chair. An economic chair adapted for the size and measurements of its use. It was configured by someone small, most likely a woman. There seems to have a slideshow change between landscapes beyond the ABBs. And the towers of Warsaw City. Breaking the sequence, an image of two women embracing appeared in one of the monitors. One of them had blue hair. I barely touched the screen and gained access to the desktop. It wasn't locked. 
There was an open BY presentation and an unfinished hand of solitaire. I saw 3D blue whales flying through the clouds in the company's logo. The animated slides presented the financial results of the last quarter. I copied the presentation in to take a look at, uh, at it later. The man took a deep breath and let the air out through the nose with a loud squeeze. You're here. Good. Uh -huh. These are several ways of interaction on a dialogue. Branch can be unlocked. Your previous knowledge, past actions and the relationship you have built can all unlock pieces of the narrative. A branch can also be unlocked uh, by your background, the profession, or a deduction that you've made. Mm -hmm. Hello, my name is... I know who you are. I'm Director Haggis. Something's wrong with my son. He's not getting uh, off the couch and... Well, you see for yourself. It's been, it's been over four days. He entered some game with his friend Timmy. I've tried talking to Timmy, but he's clamped up. His condition makes me worry even more. My son is on the couch in the next room. Let's let's go there now. Here he is. Find out what what's going on with him and how he can be helped. Hegeson was wearing an expensive brand name suit and a state of art helmet covered part of his face. Hmm. I took his hand, he was slightly trembling, but with a normal temperature. That happens in the game in games that generate lots of ad adrenaline. Um. I leaned over and looked on the device of the helmet. No signs of an extended online stay. Expensive supplements did the trick. He had ir irregular skin di discoloration uh, near the ears. I had no idea what could have caused it. The suit was equipped with advanced and uh, anti bed software. It resembled the skin of a slithering snake. The suit was the same brand as the couch, 11 bits. Um, top of the line, Blue Whales Interactive didn't know it, uh, know it though. I leaned over to get a better look. The visor, sc visor screened, uh, screen had no info on Frida's virtual location, an intentional safeguard. The helmet didn't have an observer port either. There was no way to see what he was playing. Full discretion. Mm. Any conclusions? I'm starting to lose my patience. Please note that these are initial observations. Your son is fine, he's just playing something exciting. He's been locked in for over four days, but there is no sign of adverse effects from the session. This is some excellent equipment. Doing a hard extraction by taking the helmet off is a huge risk, and locking out remotely, it's impossible, I know. Like it is in most systems. Can you at least tell me where he's locked into? The virtualium uh, data is masked by the helmet's discretion system. Game tech equip uh, equipment won't be any help here either. I need to find out which game Fro uh, Fredo locked into and then take appropriate steps. I understand. 
Fredo ended the game with his friend Timmy. He's a spineless pushover, but that might be for the best. He's waiting in my office. Maybe he can tell something. You'd better hurry, uh, though, as somebody, someone's uh, on the way to pick him up. Oh, we can find information in the codex. He looked at me, then at the sun, and sighed. All right, get to work. Eleven bits, discretion and comfort. Couch uh, reeked of luxury and uncertain, uh, unattainability. The system masked the player's lock in information. The small screen displayed Fredo's vital signs pulse, muscle tension, and brain activity. Despite the high end hardware, the kid was sweating and using much more nutri-fluid than should have been. His body was exhausted. To get a look at the number, I had to lift the boy's head. I gently cupped his head and tried to turn a little. Fredo moaned. Careful, you're hurting him. I know what I'm doing. You'll be fine. Do you think I'm blind? You're hurting him. Uh, leave him the fuck alone, or I'll throw you out myself. I turned his head to assess the helmet's technical data panel. The boy exhaled heavily. I took a good look at the panel and scanned the helmet's serial number. I grabbed his shoulder and shook him a few times. No muscle tension. He wasn't faking. The quiet sound of the suit's massaging devices uh, grew louder as the supporters brought his body back to the optimal position. Um, right, so we're done here. Hmm. What's uh, she exceeded the safety limits to lock for locked in time. Over four days without a suit, she must have uh, taken a game pill or a bladder wouldn't have held out. She started re re revitalization, but something interrupted the process. Even though she couldn't control her body, I thought she could hear me. Her helmet has an external monitoring port. I could connect to and see what happened. She must have been planning a short session since she didn't put on a suit. She looked like one of the women I had seen on the computer screen in the hall. Is that your assistant? He's just a random lowlife. Leave her alone and get back to my son. Haggis' face swelled up in anger. She may have some crucial information. Alright, just hurry up. Who is she? I don't know. Timmy was babbling something about her being in the game with him. Haggis noted what he was doing. The observer's board. He nodded. I see you prepared. When I connected to her helmet, the image was transmitted to my lenses. <coughs> The girl drifted in an undefined space. It wasn't a network menu or any of the games I knew. Hello, I'm a game deck. I was hired by Mr. Haggis. I collected two helmets. You can talk. You can talk and I can hear you on my uh, walk tail. According to the login, your name is Starlet, is that right? A game deck? That's great. Yeah, I'm Starlet. I can't see me log out. I want to ask you a few questions. If it helps you get me out of here?
What happened? How did you get here? I don't know. I don't even know where here is. I was in a game with the guys and someone attacked me. Who attacked you? In what game? Was Frida Haggis there? I'm confused and exhausted. I can't... I, I blacked out. How are you feeling? I can't move or, f or fear anything. I can only talk. This emptiness. I'm going crazy here. Your revitalization was interrupted. I've never seen anything like it before, so I don't know how to help you yet. Do you know Idris? I saw your picture on her computer. She looked at me with surprise. Yes, she's my girlfriend. Did you come here to see her or the guys? Can we not talk about this right now? Get me out of here and I'll tell you everything. It's all for now. The digital space was filled with data sets that my walktail rendered luminous shapes. Let me try and help you. Okay. Interrupted revitalizations, Rhea. I could uh, have just pulled off her helmet, but that might have ended badly. There was a safer solution. If it is revitalization, it is like walking someone up. The senses are activated in a specific order. Hearing is usually f first, so Scarlet was already active. The Re revitalization stages are displayed on the progress bar. But I couldn't recall the right order. I only remember that vision was definitely last. Okay, Scarlet, I think I know how to wake you. Wait, I hear laughter. What's happening? My deck detected the girl's helmet being bombarded by exabytes of data. Someone wanted to overload it and determinate our connection. Scarlet, somebody is trying to either stop us from talking or probe me. Damn it! What are you going to do? My connection was being overloaded with streams of incoming data. The Voctel was named to interpret interpret it. One thing was certain, the attack was getting stronger by the second. I activate some bar barriers to block the signal, but it's only a matter of time before you cut uh, they crack. The barrier cracked the signal searcher. It was coming from a virtual virtualium. Scarlet, the attack's coming from a game. I don't know which one. I must have strapped on so onto someone's toe. Too bad. I can't remember who's or where. All right. Uh. The correct order was key. The revitalization bar had stopped on stimulating pr proprioception. Seemed right to start with that. Scarlet, I'm going to finish your revitalization. I'm going to need you to touch your body. Is that okay? Do whatever is necessary. The re revitalization bar move forward. Well, the <laughs> proprioception complete. A good start. But the screen didn't display the next stage. The attack was getting stronger.
Oh, I think I lose her. That was not fun. Can I access her? That's tricky. There's somebody you can talk to. Um, some dialogues require more effort. The blue bar above the dialogue window represents the emotional state of the person you are speaking to. Your choices influence that state. Try to find out how. If the con conversation bar reaches a uh, lock, additional information or uh, dialogue options will be unlocked. Hover over the lock to learn a bit more. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Right, so we have to push a bit. But can we can we lock something that's no that's not good, that's not good. It's a no good. It's a very no good. Right, so what we need here is so, how to help Fredo? That's a good question. We know he's in a game with PvP mechanics. So, we basically get these informations and then we make a deduction on the right hand side. Uh, who's guilty or what has happened and so on. And then we have to decide how to proceed in, in the case. Right. Um, Timmy. The kid looked around with terror in his eyes. When I approached him, he trembled. Are you going to question me? Calm down, we're just going to talk. Questioning is best left to the police. I'm here to help Mr. Ha help Mr. Haggis some. So let us just talk, all right? Oh, okay, I want to help you. He nodded vigorously. Uh, tell me what happened. It was Fredo's 16th birthday and we, we were inside an adult game. He turned red and stared intently at his shoes. What, what do you want to know? Tell me to me. What world did you go to? I told you, we wanted to do other stuff, you know? What was the name of the game? I can't remember. He picked up the collar of the suit nervously. Was he lying, or do you really not rem remember? What else? What, what else do you want to know? He sounded like a player with a slow connection. Either he was deeply distressed, or something was wrong with his nervous system. Hmm. What were you doing inside the game? Well, w w what you normally do in other games. You guys, you're probably turning all the girls at, huh? Girls like, uh, girls like you, admit it. They love such uh, soft features. Come on, what were you doing there? They, they, they were those cool um, NPECs. All right, I, I believe you want to help. It was Fredo's birthday. Did I already mention that? I'm not sure. So we locked into Paradise Beach. It's a place where adults get together here, there. You can read all about it in the description. <coughs> um, he turned red like uh, my grandma's geranios. 
tell me to me, you celebrate Frida's birthday in just one virtual alien? Yeah, but we did some pre-game here first. We kind of overdid it. Fredo had trouble putting on his suit. He realized that he had to say too much and stopped. I know how things are, Timmy. When I was your age, I also went to parties and drank booze. <laughs> uh, booze is for the old or the poor. Fredo and I have better stuff. But the girl Fredo brought had booze. She said that, that it was included. I believe you, really. I do. I want to help. It's just that I, I can't quite remember. I don't know what actually ha happened. You had trouble putting the sentences together and remembering the events. It wasn't just shock. Something that really disturbed his ne something had really disturbed his nervous system. Your nervous system is overloaded. But it will regenerate. It will pass. Breathe. Hmm. What can you tell me about Starlet? She, she's a stripper. She knew the game well, so Fredo hired her as a guide. She was very brave. She was brave? What did she do? She was dancing so flirtatiously flirtatiously and teasing us. She was so direct. He was embarrassed just thinking about the girl. She knew little of that world but was brave enough to guide us and she was so provocative. Thankfully mainly towards Fredo. She barely spoke to me. So you're a game deck? Yes, Timmy. I'm a game detective. Cool. Can you tell me a bit about your work? Timmy, I'm going to be asking the questions and you're going to be answering them. I want to find Fredo as soon as possible. The smile in his eyes faces away. You left the game even though your friend kept playing. What happened? I didn't want to leave him. I was feeling b bad, shaking. Yeah, I know y uh, y you don't leave uh, your friends behind. He looked as if he was going to cry. Are, are there many more questions? Depends on how you answer. If you're honest and ac accurate, maybe not too many. But if you try to be cute, there will be more. He covered. I'm trying to do my best, sir. Sir? Um. <laughs> Where was Fredo when you came out of the game? He he was on the beach by these big dunes. That's rather vague. Do you remember anything that could help me ad identifying the beaches? Focus. There was there was a fine yellow and a bright blue sky. And the, the menu had some gravity beach chairs, stripped one, striped ones. He wrinkled his brow as he coming up with his, uh, with his head drained all his strength. Oh, it's that. You're doing great. I can see you're a mentally tough guy. Most people in your place wouldn't be holding up as much. Okay. Uh, we're holding up as well. His lips stretched and he lowered his eyes. He believed me. Mm. Did I just lose the secret? Why? Ah. Why is Fredo still inside the game? I don't know. He liked it there and wanted to stay for long as, as long as possible. Maybe he's having fun. Could Fredo have lost track of time? It would have, it, it would have to have been an amazing session 
to disregard the danger of exceeding the permitted playtime. The kid shot me an uncertain look. Tell me something about Fredo, anything you want. He's my buddy, same school and stuff. Once this kid Alex called me names, so Fredo flushed his walktail down the toilet. He smiled at the memory. Then he uh, altered the, the holes in the school gallery to give Alex a pig snout that uh, constantly oozed this disgusting mu mucus. Fredo's brilliant. That wasn't helpful at all. What games do you like? Whatever Frito's playing. Space sims like Dream Space or Dying Stars. Shooters too. Crying Guns is our f favorite. He loosens up. He likes to talk about games. to know why Paradise Beach? Why did you choose Paradise Beach? Hmm. To, to have some fun. Hmm. There's sensual wrestling to the west uh, of the main entrance where you can join some erotic tussles. Did you see it? Yeah, I, I won. I won three times. There was no such thing in Paradise Beach. The kid was lying. He looked at me with empty eyes. How you're right to me. You're slurring your words and trembling. How do you feel? Not too good. I'm a bit dizzy, but that's from the fatigue. We play played a long time, you know. It doesn't seem like fatigue to me. Tell me what happened. You don't believe me. We didn't do anything strange. I'm a good gamer, and I gave I gave it my all. That's why. It was pale and trembling. Ah, why don't? Why can't I get here? I, I, I just want to unlock a few of these. I mean, at least one of these locks. Mm. Ask about Fredo's relationship with his father. Okay. How are things between Fredo and his father? Do they like each other or not? Again? How? I mean... Mm. Old man Haggis is pay, paying you. No matter what I say, you take his side anyway. The truth lies where the money comes from. He grunted and pursed his lips. He looked at me with empty eyes. Your friend. Has anyone been threatening Fredo? Did he have any enemies? No way. Everybody likes him. Admires him. They're the best. He's the best in graphics and animation. Has awesome skins and bitchin' result in Fast Fury. He bought the best speeder, the one for 15,000, and he bought a digital ride for for his father's cash, and made him and it made him popular. They liked him because he's cool. Well, some people try to take advantage of him. He makes decisions quickly, doesn't hesitate to buy something, to do something, or whatever. Impulsive decision making is a weakness. An intelligent enough opponent could notice it and use it against him. Why are you tormenting me? You think you're helping Fredo? Mr. Haggis doesn't care about his son. He just cares about his image and avoiding the scandal. Fredo tried lots of things to get his attention. Once he jumped off the walkway in the outskirts and landed in a tree. He broke two ribs, and old man Haggis never even came to the hospital. Just sensed once. Freda was finally taken home by that guy, Alfred. Don't you get it? Don't you effin' get it? No one cares about us. They do. 
don't give they don't give a you know, oh what's the point all right Timmy I don't have any other questions right so let's see what we have here we know that Timmy suffered a mental trauma we know uh, he's in a game for adults uh, we know that Fredo is neglected by his father and he's in game with PvP, PvP, player with player mechanics. Also that they started out at least in Paradise Beach. And that's where Timmy maybe left Fredo. Now is the question. Let the father find his son in the game. Look for him in Paradise Beach. Or find more information. We may have to find more information. But where to find more information? Uh, right, information are with me. It's search information after all. I had once done a vlog about artificial intelligence not a word disappointing I'd say above one should never google oneself mm -hmm. no I don't I don't want to hack the gentleman he's he's high strung as he is I right know Animal looks as well as frozen in time. Submerged in a transparent resin substance, the panther seemed alive. I noticed a panel with a single red button at the base of the display. I knocked softly. It felt as the, as the animal glanced at me. The hidden anti G mechanisms buzzed as it moved the polymer resin blocks apart. Does it do something? Uh, no. Uh, uh. The split blocks revealed the creature's m uh, intestines, where there was still some digested food left. It seemed like the organs moved slightly in a barely visible contraction. Or we, it was just the light. This is sick. I mean, in more than one sense. Now let's see. No, I can't go back now. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Who's this guy again? It's Timmy, huh? Mm. Mm -hmm. Right, right, right. Radio. Huh. Let's see what he is. Oh, maybe he can, I can find more information. Examine like Fredo? No, I already did everything. So let's talk to Haggis. Hmm. Uh, I need access to your computer. He looked at me as if. if I'd suggested something absurd, and the frown on his face deemed into a greater level of irritation. You've got to be fucking kidding me. Dart, if you entrusted me with your son's life, I think you can also trust me with the access to your computer. He gave me a long, threatening stare from under a wrinkled brow. At last, he had answered, speaking slowly and enunciating each word. Axis Mundi. That's my password. If there's ever a data leak, I know that I will destroy you. Know that I will destroy you. Who has access to the room with the couches? My guess, my guests and I, but no one except Fredo uses them when I'm away. He looked at the couch the woman was using. Or at least that's what I thought. I had nothing to say to him. Hmm. 
offer it. I sincerely apologize. I was told to take the boy, Timmy, home. The pneumobile is waiting. Go ahead. I don't need him anymore. Thank you. I hope you can help, Frido. Oh, this was <laughs> Timmy. Uh, bye, Timmy. Hang tough. Okay, wait, wait, wait. There was something here. I would just want to see what, what this thing is here. What's this? A piece of the floor stood out from the rest. There was no chance of a flaw in the sign. Not in a building like this. It looked like a hatch. It was a good place for a safe. I put my ear against the door and started knocking. I remember that that was how they did it in the holo boobies. Haggis' heavy breathing told me that I must have triggered a silent alarm. <laughs> What the fuck are you doing? Uh, either start a professional investigation or piss off. I planned to drop something and casually moved away from the hiding place. What insolence! <laughs> uh, emotional, huh? So, anyway, enter password. Axis Moon. Axis Grand. Hi, honey bunny. What can I do for... She cut short mid-sentence and took a good look at me. Oh, you're not honey bunny. Did something happen? Is he alright? I mean, is Joffrey alright? Excuse me, I haven't talked to other people in years. So, is he okay? Mr. Hager's son is trapped in a vitrualium. I'm a game tech and I'm trying to get him out. I need access to his computer. So Honey Bunny's fine and well? That's good. What was... Uh, uh, I... Oh yes, let me give you the tour. I have access to emails, reports, builds and some other systems. What would you like to see? Yes, the couch controller is the most important. I want access to the couch control panel. Show me Freda's monitoring. Do you know where he's locked in? I'm afraid that data is encrypted. Honey Bunny made it so, but I can connect to the connect to the boy and describe what he's feeling right now. All right, do it. Ah, what did I do? Sorry. Uh, I'm making a connection. I can't say uh, the kids. I can't say I like the kids' thought. Mm -hmm. What don't you like about him? It's hard to say. He makes me sick. I sense the same purple scent from him as I do from Honey Bunny, but his is barely noticeable. Whereas Fredo's, it's hard to explain how I receive him. Synesthesia. I think that's what it's called. Oh, and it's getting hot. He's very excited, far beyond the limits of erratic ecstasy. Focus on the ecstasy. Describe it. Oh yes, crimson. I love the color. Oh, that's red. Don't stop. Amaranth, scarlet, crimson. Ah, ooh, ah, honey bunny. Uh, oh, crumbing error. Have a nice day. Blue well, interactive, never alone. I broke the bloody computer. Well, uh, that was a short trip. I broke the bloody computer by letting it feel emotions all right well that wasn't planned hmm, hmm. right now i i think i need to access i can't access uh coaches right i may have to go into my own Give them more clues to make a deduction. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. that's my that's my what I have to do, right? Uh, so 
Let Father find his son in the game or look for him in Paradise Beach. I think I'm gonna... <coughs> Why don't I have more information? missing that um, why that that just not hmm. okay so let's decide that we have to find him in Paradise Beach because uh, I don't want to tell uh, Mr. Haggis that he is to look for his son himself Right, so that's the first decision. We uh, look for him in Paradise City. Now we get a new one. Uh, and it says, oops, uh, no data, no data, yeah. So, objective complete. It says, inform Haggis of your decision. So I decide to go into the world and I tell him that's what I'm gonna do. Mr. Haggis, I've come to the decision about Fredo. F about fucking time. Fredo may be stuck in Paradise Beach. You know, the world for people looking for love and sex. I'll try there. I know the game. I programmed it. I don't think he's there, but I check out if you're sure. But check it out if you're sure. There he is a vacant couch. Uh, right where? Examine Fredo. No, no. Use the spare couch. Ah, yeah, the other one here. All right. Okay, can I search something? Inspect carefully. This item was loose. Somebody forgot to tighten the screws. Looking for the wooden budge. Tactical retreat. Okay. Well. End of Paradise City. And that's where I'm gonna go. So we're entering a, a game in in a game. A game within the game. Are you guys fine? Do you want something? Do you have questions regarding this game? So, <coughs> that looks pretty. Good morning. I'm an administrator of for Paradise Beach. I'd like to perform an credentials scan. I was surprised that she wa uh, wanted to scan my credentials in a free-to-play game. It might have been because I was using Hackers' guest account. What's this scan for? There's been an incident that violated the terms of use in, virtua in this virtualium. An incident that required administrators to step in? Maybe I could help. I'm a game deck. Thank you for your offer, but we already have the right people to work on, on this. Thank you, I will now take this, uh, it will only take a second. Alarm, alarm, alarm. Done. The license for Director's Hackers' guest account has been confirmed. Have fun playing. Hold a second. I'm looking for a player that's currently using Mr. Hackers' account. Could you confirm that he's here? Let me check. There's no one here besides yourself. Hmm. I cursed. I was hoping to find him here. Much earlier than Timmy and Fredo. It couldn't have been them. Hmm. Thanks for your help. Sessions on Haggis' account are not recorded. 
I can show you the Holovision content the users were viewing. Timmy had misled me. Coming here was a waste of time. The bison must have entered twisted and per perverted. Hold on a second. Could you tell me the last time anyone visited Paradise Beach using uh, one of Director Haggis' accounts? Let me check. The register says the last uh, login from one of Director Haggis' accounts took place exactly a week ago at midnight. Mm -hmm. I hoped I could find uh, Fredo here. This is a much darker world. The title says it all. It's all in the title. <coughs> Each virtual alien has its own hut, a status bar on top of the screen. In Twisted and Perverted, the hut shows uh, a head um, on the display, head user display. Uh, shows uh, player level in uh, Twisted and Perverted, uh, their experience points, slots for owned objects, and a count of, of kills and deaths. Bob Zapper. I'd like no, to know that I don't want to put anything inside you or pull anything out of or do anything else th these deviants do. I'm not like that. You seem like the only normal guy in this whole circus. And I have a sensitive problem. Very sensitive. I just say it. I'm looking for my wife. Tell me more. Alright. This is how it is. I've been standing here at the streetlight for an hour and can't find Rhonda anywhere. At the same time, I can feel that she is cheating on me. Let me tell you a little secret. If you want to find someone, you need to go look for them. Go is the key word. Now, let's cut to the chase. I'm a game tech and I need specific information. A game tech? I flagged out. I was told that she plays here often and has quite uh, the results. Oh. Do you know what the skin of your wife is where uh, the skin of your wife is wearing? Skin? On top of everything she's wearing people's skins? I mean a skin, you know, a gaming avatar. It's like oh I know what the skin is. I just thought you were talking about another perversion. Human skin to life. No matter. I have no idea what she looks like here. So, will you help me? Alright, I'll look for her. Really? Thank you. There are some good people in the the world. Listen, I'm looking for someone. Maybe anything to do with Rhonda? God, I don't even want to think about it. Who are you anyway? A loser, can't you tell? Loser? I rarely get uh, get to hear someone being so critical of themselves. What am I supposed to be like here? My wife's running off to death. He desperately searches for the missing word. He finally gives up on size. You know where she's running off to. I don't see it. Where is she running off to? Here, of course. To a world of degenerates. I was tipped off anonymously that she hangs out here. Doing those awful things. So I started looking for the location. It's some kind of exclusive level. She spent all my savings to get here. To this Sodom and Gomorrah. My own money. It costs that much to get here? It's pretty expensive and I didn't get here right away because I'm a loser. The tipster wanted money, but I, a great designer, didn't want to pay. I started looking around on my own. I told myself, 
Bob, you've been making games for years. You can't let yourself be fooled by dirty tricks. Man, the pyball took me for, for a ride. I ended up uh, in some premium events and like the loser I am, I had to go back to the tipster and pay. That's how I got there. You make games? I never touch an abomination, abomination like this one. But it doesn't matter. I was fired. Why, why did they fire you? It's a long story. I was working on a harvest growth system for harvest time and they gave me an AI assistant. I trained it, I taught it, I corrected it and finally they let me go. Too bad they didn't tell me earlier. I wouldn't have spent all the money to looking for my wife. Hmm. Right. Let's see what this wife is uh, like. Do you know how to handle uh, how the handle she uses? There was something in an anon anonymous letter, something uh, horny or something. Mm -hmm. Okay. Does your wife have any special sexual prefer preferences? Any paraphilias? The letter said she's into some strange things. Likes to push the limits. How okay, can you push the limits in a world such as like like this? It also said everything with everything, huh? everything with everything, with everyone and everything. Ugh, I don't even want to think about it. I mean, again, get it? I don't work for free. Damn! I'm a little short of money right now. But maybe we can come to some other arrangement, eh? Don't worry. I don't want money. Just tell me what you saw while you were standing here. Phew! I knew we could, uh, could find some common ground. Okay, we are done here. We are done here and we are done here, right? <laughs> right. Don't want to talk, huh? Horny? Oh! Oh oh! Horny? Horny? Oh, hello, my little squire. I already told you, I love this trick better if you showed it to someone else. Actually, I'm looking for someone's wife. It's all adorable and all, uh, Rhonda, but how to put it, the butterflies in my magic tummy seemed a tiny bit inappropriate. I'm sorry, my friends. Farewell. Mm. Seems my friend didn't like you either. I think we have to say our oh, goodbyes. So your name is Rhonda? How do you... Oh, you're the unicorn address me. I would prefer you call me by my nickname. Seriously. I'll take care of you later, but for now, let me spend a, a, a while with the horse. Sorry to disturb you, ma'am. Uh -huh. I almost forgot. When Bob Sapa asked, why is my Rhonda doing this to me? What do I tell him? Oh, for crying out loud? I guess we do need to talk. Your husband wa wants me to confirm you're here. Consider it confirmed. Ranta Sapa spends plenty of time in disgusting material for deviants. Do you have any idea how uh, he'll react? There will be no end to it. Listen. I have a counter offer for you. Tell him it's not true. Convince him he's wrong. And I guarantee I'm someone uh, you want to have 
uh, indebted to you. Hmm. Okay, sure. I get him out of your hair. Gosh, thanks. You have no idea how much it means to me. I'm looking for a kid named Fredo, a rich boy, somebody probably in some trouble. I need help finding him. Not till I know how the thing with my husband played out. I'd like to know more, uh, some more about you. What you can tell, can you tell me about yourself? What, what's that to tell? We are twisted. I'm also trying to be, a, to be a bit perverted. Okay. All right. So first, get rid of the husband, and she's gonna tell me that she doesn't know anything. But this is how it how it works, you know. People just cheating. People telling you, yeah, I can help you. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I don't know anything. Mm, pity. Ooh, that's the wrong one. Yeah, that's not the guy. Where, 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 where? Is this the guy? There was a dude here. Somewhere. Did I miss him? Well, how? Huh? Did he just walk? This Bob Zaba guy. He was here a moment ago, I think. Okay, there's a glitch. Uh, mm. Mia and Maya. Mm. Ah, he moved to the other side. An investigator needs time and good intelligence, trust me. Uh, my brain is boiling, humor me. I need to know what happened to you. I have some good news. Your description matches several players, but none of them is your wife. Rhonda's not playing t uh, Twisted and Perverted. Sheesh, what a relief. A lot of my shoulders. Best news of the month. You're a good man, Dame Deck. Well. So, will you help me with your... Uh, Fredo skin? I'm looking for a young man with access to money, okay? Did you see anyone with an expensive skin? Something top of the line? A while ago, I saw two guys and a woman. One kept looking around, but the other one seemed to like it here. Um, the first had a kick-ass skin. They called him Flapdoodle. Was anyone out here acting strange, taking into consideration the behavior of standards interests and perverted? Mm -hmm. I didn't see it, but I heard something. There are gates at the subway entrance. Someone yelling, Flapdoodle, you idiot! A woman responded, don't talk to him like that, to taxi boy, to gay boy. Somebody shot something and people gathered around, gathered around. I didn't go. I just care about Rhonda. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, do I have more information? No. Okay. Yeah. So, the way it is, um, I would have to make a decision. Um, right about here. No, wait. Uh, we already passed that point. So let's go here. Uh, we know about Tuga Bay. We know about Flapdoodle. Uh, leather skin, fast range player behavior. Okay. 
shoving flapdoodle around. Player Tuga Boy was making a fuss at the gates. Player Foopdoodle wore leather skin. Mm. I think we need more information. So I was. I will. Will Bob Saba be here? Um, I think we can risk it. Right, so um, I'm gonna talk to Rhonda again to see if she n has more information uh, who Flappy Doodle and Blah Blah Bay is. Right, so got uh, enough time to think, will you? Forget what you saw here. I've talked to Bob. And how did it go? I did what you asked me. He, he won't be looking for you in uh, Twisted and Perverted. Great. I have a serious talk with him sometime later. Looks like I owe you one. Right? You can talk a story now about Fredo. I'm looking for a kid named Fredo. A rich boy. Probably in some trouble. I need help finding him. Huh. <coughs> After what you've done for me... Uh, I help you as much as I can. Uh, right. Wait. There were two guys who made a mess here not so long ago. One had the nickname Tuge Bay. Quite bossy and unpleasant to the other side. Mm. He had one of the most expensive skins in the game. We probably won't sell any. But if we sell even one... We said we are set for ages, kind. Okay, now, now that's interesting. No, that's wrong. Wait, we need to go here. What was Fredo's nickname? That's a question indeed. <coughs> and I'm really not in a position to 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 go there. Oh wait, new clue? What what what's the clue? Give me give me the clue. Uh okay, the most expensive skin. Two gear base skin is one of the most expensive in the game. Player Two Bay was shoving flap doodle around. Two gear bay was making fuss at the gates. Flap doodle wore leather skin. Yeah. But you know, I think Tuga Bay. That's the one. That's that's the rich kid. Shoving other people around. Alright. Where was the last time you saw Tuga Bay? I'm not sure. I think quite busy as you know. But there's this alley in the south part of the location. People go there when they want to experience something without prying eyes. Mm. The kid in the expensive skin, what happened to him? I think he was going to some secluded place with his lady. Mm. Right. Let's see if Bob has more information. Bob. Oh, there's somebody. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Right, Bob Sapper. Uh, we know enough about him, so we just go here. We ask about Tuga Bay. What do you know about the player with the expensive and lavish skin? I asked him about my, about my Ronda, but he told me... He told me to go fuck myself because he had a date or something with some chick in some remote location, or something like that. Uh, I was afraid that maybe he was going to meet Maranda, so I started questioning everyone around here. But even those fanatics from that clan or whatever said they didn't know her. Fortunately, you came along and told me that Rhonda isn't playing here. Oh, such a load of my shoulders. <laughs> yes, it is, isn't it? Indeed. Right. Now, let's see what, what it looks like nowadays. We have a decision. Where did Freda go after locking in? 
an ally in the LA in the south part of the location. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. See, I think I'm gonna ask around a bit more uh, because this is too limited. Oh, what do we have here? Yes, yes, I can be a scalpel, I can be a glacier, uh, I can be a sleeps. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ah, that's tricky. Uh, here I can be sensory surgeon, brain fixer, molecular scripter, sensory celebrity, mind influencer, rocks properly. Mm -hmm. And here I can be a programmer, a supervisor, cracker. I think I just start being a glacier. Because then I have more control about technical stuff. I'm not quite sure what's better, being focused or being, being like a jack of all trades. Right, excellent. What do we have here? Hmm. Who can we ask? Let's ask Maya in Mia and Maya. <laughs> because I'm in <coughs> Infodena, I can. F Flirt. I heard you talking about skins and damn it, you raise my interest. You have sublime taste. It's a rare thing here. We found skins are amazing. They're only for, for the chosen. Most people can't tell the difference. They think it's enough to flick a tit or a whip and everybody's gonna go into a frenzy. Appearance isn't everything. The skins have customized blood. You can choose its smell and flavor. Have you ever seen anyone in such a skin? Yeah, but I never tasted one. It's probably only a matter of time. A kid named Tugger Bay. Yes, baby. Was intoxicated, so he'll be easy to get to. Hmm. Yeah, Tugger Bay is good. Do you know anything about the play with the handle Tugger Bay? Have you seen him? Yeah, I saw him groping some random chick. I don't know what he saw in here. They were looking for a place. If you know what I mean. Hmm. I think we're done here, All right? I'm looking for a kid who was around here with a friend. They may have been acting strangely. It was their first time. I don't know what they looked like, but they probably had top of the line skins. The kid's friend might have been a little frightened. Know anything about him? Oh, that guy. Maybe... We do. Maybe we don't. Who are you anyway? I'm a wandering priest of the techno faith of Regine, the Thunder God. The kid wanted me to enlighten him so he could attain divinity and reach the higher world. I've still got other clients who want to meet Kaminari-sama, so I don't have much time. You girls understand, right? Oh boy, oh boy. Could you enlighten us and make us divine? Rajin, he always turned me on. <laughs> of course, but I have a tight schedule. You can make an appointment at wanderingtechnopriest.com under the calendar tabs. In the meantime, I need some more information about the kit. Time's a factor. That kid's definitely the party guy he saw at the gate. His name was Tugay, Tugay Bay. His uh, body was called freaking Flapdoodle, really. That Tugay, uh, Tugay something treated the other one like crap. He pissed a lot of people off. Bring him to us when you're, uh, bring him to us when you're done with him. We have some business with him. Sure, ladies. There's nothing more, huh? Uh, oh, I didn't confirm it. The ally. Mm -hmm. 
maybe I can go to the left and ask there. <coughs> ah, who's that? Ken Su. Mm -hmm. The man was watching me over his dark glasses. I ask you one question. Think carefully before you answer. Are you a bloody troll? I'm a game deck. A game deck? Great. Maybe we can help each other. You just found yourself a friend. I'm looking for a kid. Maybe you can help me. Ask away. Maybe I even learned something. But to track down the buggers who fucked up my game. I'm looking for a player named Tuge Bay. Heard the name? Tuge? Yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah, I heard something. Apparently, he wanted to find a secluded place for him and his girl. There's an alley, alley uh, a dead end. Supposedly, strange things happen there. So, in general, who the hell are you? Give me something to think about. So, you don't know me? Huh? A few hours ago, I was a contestant, a raising star of good or bad. But it's no longer the case. There was a match, a damn important one. My path to a great career. I was doing well, but it all went to shit because of a few trolls. Um, hmm. You're in esports? I play good or bad. And I'm pretty good, if I can say so myself. Immune to pay. Uh, this one match was fucking important with my sponsors watching and all. And I blew it. Bloody trolls. But how are trolls involved? I saw them in a, a, this tear in space, a grinning malicious lot. I tracked them here, but I came to a, a dead end. Is that is my only lead? Jeez. Vessels must be furious now. Locking out uh, during the match. What was I thinking? Said is my only late. My investors must be livid. I locked out in the middle of the game. So embarrassing. Huh? What's the deal with this match? It was a great match. The audience was crazy, Chief. I was at the enemy, I was at the enemy fortress. Certain Dutch town. Suddenly the sky broke. Some trolls appeared with, my, with a strange structure. I froze, lost my seal. I, in a fit of anger, I made a courage quit. Probably ruined my career. Now I'm looking for revenge. Alright, that's him alright. Right, so... I just hired him, so to say. <sighs> what is this guy? Therefore, if you don't follow the truth, you'll never be completely free. Understand? I think so. I'm glad, handsome. I think we should continue the conversation somewhere more private. Now, I'm talking with this insanely attractive man. You're disturbing. Give me a deeds. You will meet somewhere in real you might talk further or closer. It sounds a good idea. Hey, wanna see a magic trick? What the hell is that? A talking horse? Oh I beg your pardon, I'm a unicorn. Ignore him. Focus on me, handsome. A unicorn that knows magic tricks. Do you wanna see? You gonna leave us alone, are you? Not until you watch the trick. Come on, choose a card. All right, let it be. It's not a trick. It's a goddamn exploit of a goddamn troll. <laughs> Funny. Gentlemen. <coughs> oh, 
Oh man, Chief. It's Pani Santa, member of the legendary Painers team. Ken was so excited he stopped whispering and started shouting. It's rare to meet somebody who still remembers us. Let me guess, you're a pro player. I used to be. Now I'm learning a new trade. You change jobs? I'd start playing again immediately if I could. In my time, players were committed. The world is getting worse by the day. I... Ken became very quiet. He lowered his head. He had the skin of a veteran, old, powerful, marked with scars. Where are my manners? Have a drink with me and we'll talk. You offered me a bottle. It smelled of strong liquor. It's an honor. Ken drank and burped and focused on staying upright. The bottle must have had a hefty piece of coat in inside. Not this time. I came here to talk. I'm looking for a new player. Came here two days ago. He had a horrendous expensive skin. I saw two kids log in. One joined the trolls for a bit and wandered around, twisted and perverted like a stench around Low City. It was fun hunting them. You have to play nice in other virtualia, even with trolls. But here I can lurk around the corner and shoot them in the back of the head with their pass. You seem to be a frequent visitor here, I'm sure you know everyone. Who are these trolls? They are not our trolls. It's a gang cruising from world to world, bugging people. You raise kids like they are made of glass and... Do you even know what glass is? Anyway, they can't cope with realium or virtualia, so they wander aimlessly. Five seconds in every world. I miss them. I could use a hunt. Your skin is an, old, is an old man. Is it some kind of fetish? It's a statement. In my time, you could sneer at uh, lots of groups. Immigrants, the ugly, anyone fornicating with the wrong people. Now everybody, everybody's accepted but us. The elderly are done for. They are supposed to get young again or disappear in the low city and die out of sight. Horrid ages. That's why I plan to flash my wrinkle at everyone. If they don't like it, screw them. These veterans had a lot of spell and I didn't. The man's avatar was well over 60. The body was a strong man. His face wrinkled in a warm smile as soon as he was met it, as he met my gaze. Ken whispered reverently. Do you know who this is, Chief? Hello there, beautiful. My name is Trepanator. I looked at him expectantly. Keen, uh, Ken greeted with a handshake. I'm sorry for my friend. She's a bit hungover. Hello, those are the most exquisite eyes I've ever seen. The iris is incredibly detailed. The smile broadened. I'm looking for a kid. He might have attracted attention in his way he behaved. Have you seen anything unusual? He winked at me. You should stop looking for kids and pay attention to elders. Experience and skill are more important when having fun. Uh, fine. There was a guy. was one guy like that. Had a fitting handle. Two game bay. Made some noise about at the entrance of the level to the subway. It wasn't worth my time. Can you tell me more about two, this two game bay? Why are you so stubborn? I'm telling you. You're interested in the wrong person. You're interested in perverted. So go on, experiment a bit. I. <coughs> I have a job to do. I need to rescue that kid. Maybe I could come back here if I found him soon. Let me see. He must be important because he had been... S he had uh, someone hovering over him the whole time. What else? 
He entered with a friend. The latter had a funny name too. Flapdoodle. That's what it was. That's an interesting choice of an avatar. Quite unusual. It stands out for his refined simplicity. But I gather that's not what you had in mind. Go ahead and ask. You wouldn't be the first person to shamelessly pry. Your avatar looks very natural. Most players beautify themselves. You mean to ask why I choose to look like a fossil, right? You don't have to coddle me. For me, that's be, that'd be a compliment. I've had a small fortune for this avatar. You had the means to become anyone you wanted, and you chose an old man with a liver spots and a broken nose. He smiled indulgently. indulgently. Not all glitters is gold good looking. Although I do appreciate the way you look here. Test featured you never even dreamed dreamt of. My blood tastes like strawberries. So far I've only seen one player here with an avatar of similar quality. Why did you choose such an avatar? It offers me a resemblance of what it's like in the real world. A normal life, you know? It's an estimate of how it looked if I had the chance to grow old. didn't have the chance to grow old. What, um, what do you mean? My body died, but my brain survived. Now I'm free from pain, exhaustion, and all the humdrum problems of everyday existence. I live only in Vitualia. I'm a Zonet. How do you earn money if you can only function in Vitualia? I manufacture cheats. The old time. Nobody else does that anymore. So they are selling like crazy. They are all secured from external examination. They will just self-delete. So they are practically untraceable. They have a 99.999 success rate. There was only one case in my entire career where someone traced me. Ooh. How was it someone able to trace you? Well, I came across an even bigger fossil than I was. Use a DDoS on my emergency access gate or to the virus. So naturally I wasn't prepared for that. What is it? 20, 40? No, it's over 150 years later. That method has been obsolete for de decades. How did he die? It's embarrassing. I wanted to join the painters, that famous gaming team. I entered happy hunting grounds to show off in front of them. And then somebody winked, cre uh, some winked creature caught me and ripped my guts out. My real body on the couch responded as if I were actually bleeding out. And by the time they reached my apartment, I suffered a concussion. Honey Sato was gracious enough to pay for, I have to have my brain saved. Right, so if I was a scalper, I could have asked more, but I am not. But I can unlock something maybe. I can be a century celebrity. Uh, being a celebrity is a balancing act. You must be ready to cross the boundaries of the absurd, cause a scandal, because cameras love it. But take one step too far and you will fail, far below your peers. Fame is like a ride, li 
riding a tiger, it's easy to attract attention, charm people and persuade them to talk. But if you go, or if you go too far, mm -hmm. right, but let's not be a scuttle. Despite all that, you seem quite content. You seem to reach far back in the past, pondering. It's just, I've been gaming, a uh, gaming nomad all my life. The guys gave me a second chance. For years, my brain was laying in a net reel. Recently, it started acting up, so I transferred to a, a render. Now, my brain rests in a safe. I do dream of seeing Realium again sometimes, miss some place. But I can't afford Moprium. I have to go back to my investigation. A shame, you can always come back to Let's ask this guy. A man who looked like an agent ruling him was dozing. Be careful not to wake him. Chief, kill them all, it's dangerous. Wanna fight? I don't want to fight. I want to uh, want to talk about something. Oh, that's a shame. They all want to talk. They order, buy, pay. Nobody wants to fight. No, not even rob me. You're discriminating against the elderly. Um, I'm looking for a kid in an expensive skin, locked in with a friend. The behavior probably stood out. The behavior stood out? That's putting it mildly. The brats caused mayhem and vanished. That's all I know. Mm -hmm. I may have to uh, look. It's really not much I can do. 2 bay. Okay, fair enough. So, um, but the, everything points to. They went to, into the alley. We do know that. Hmm. Let's check the alley before we go anywhere. Hmm. I'm not quite happy with uh, what I know here. We ally Ellie. So let's go into this alley here and see what we see. Uh huh. Okay, maybe he knows something. He doesn't. Right, so. Oh, there's something. Trash can. You know, a mine. I expected it didn't go off when somebody tried to detonate it. So they threw it in the trash can. Makes perfect sense. There we go. Uh -huh. Take a look. anti personal mine. Strong enough to elim eliminate the player. Oh, we just leave it here, I would say. A bloodstain. Could be Fredo's. As a professional technician, I immediately noticed the slight deformations in the game's meta caused by glitches. I carefully expect, uh, inspect the um, states. Wolf prints? They are not animals in Team P, but they are trolls. I rubbed the dried up gore with my fingertips, reluctantly moved my hands toward my lips and taste the collected secretions to the tip of my tongue. I test nothing beside the skin of my own budget avatar. I opened the window and started to go through the code and search for the developer stack. I took over the Chi Tong cartridge and searched for a familiar sequence, but I find nothing. I may have to fix my uh, on on this LA story to get more questions. Mm. Yes, simply <coughs> I 
No other path. I know. I'm looking for information about a recent incident in one of your of the local uh, back streets. I heard there was quite a commotion. Know anything about that? Man, I'm hiding here so no one can get to me. And you asking me about back streets? As far as I know, there is one guy, Trepanator, a scary dude. He often hangs out uh, around there. Ask him. All right. I think we already know him. So, Trepanator. I heard you might know something about that alley over there. I pointed to the streets in question. I <coughs> I thought silence was golden. People say the strangest things. You shouldn't listen to rumors. I'm looking for a kid. I need to get him out as uh, out as fast as possible. His body is already in bad shape. The kid locked into twisted. The world is fucked up. Hmm, I don't know what happened, but a bunch of admins occupied the alley yesterday. If I were you, I'd look for a, deve a developer stack. There's bound to be one in there. If something went wrong, the cause would be recorded here. That's right. Uh, maybe the others no more. Mm, no, I don't need to drink right now. Have you heard anything about the latest uh, altercation in the alley? I found out the nearest street. What? The alley? No, I'm more stationary these, the, these days. My friend Trepanator visits it from time to time. Ask him. Right. I think we already did. And I wonder if anybody else really has more information than there. Uh, Maya and Ma Maria? No, Mia and Maya? Uh, the LA, yes. Do you know anything about that incident in the LA? That back street? The LA? No, we don't play there. But there's one guy who's always hanging out there. His name is Trepanator. Uh, he gives me the chills. Ask him. Right. So I think we are already on the path. Do you have somebody else here? What? Who's that? We didn't talk to her. Or You're looking for sex or the meaning of life? Uh, excuse me? There are two kinds of people here. Some know what they want. They seek pleasure, want to explore, and are ready for uh, surprises. Others are so bored with their life that they do anything to I have all of them. I'm looking for a newbie when not here. And I'm looking for players and give me satisfaction. Seems as though none of us will get what we want. Well, we don't want to talk about the clan, because we don't know anything about any clan. Uh, red car. Oh, wait, 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 what's that? Take a look. Strong engine reinforced chassis stands out. Not sure if this is allowed. Hmm. Not sure indeed. Let's talk to this guy here, Ramon. Have you seen. Hey, it's you! You're the horse lady. Do you work together? You wasted so much of my time. I've been working this guy for four hours when you came. You got spooked and ran off. Umbra's gonna flip out. I'm a game tech, best in the business. Answer my questions and owe you one. It's a privilege. Not many have enjoyed. He laughs in my face. You mean I answer your questions now and you owe me? That's some bullshit right there. I'm looking for... 
Oj, oj. Uh, first, I have a deal with this asshole now. Now you... Do you look like a help uh, desk? To, do I look like a help desk to you? Uh, no, I don't. Help desk are usually nice. You're not from Low City, are you? You live like uh, live a comfortable life and have time to wonder what's nice and what's not. Ken lowers his eyes. Fix my problems, then I might be nice to you. He smirked. Ken still looked like he was trying to find a witty comeback. He needs to learn. I I can help you with this, asshole player. This will save you some time and you can give you the information you need. Deal. I need you to find somebody for me. The job's easy. I can I even have a finder. Who is this man? He's somebody who doesn't listen to what's being said to him. I need you to straighten him out for good. How about you two just talk? I've wasted too much time talking already. Now I have to show him I'm not joking. Alright, I agree. Give me the finder. Great. Find him and bring it to me. If he tries to fight, just kill him. But listen, try to be gentle. So now I have an arrow pointing me towards a direction. Oh yeah. That's handy. And where does it go to? This guy here. The locator beeped in my private window. I had found the man Ramon was seeking, was looking for. The veteran gave me a crooked smile. Are you sure you won't drink with us? I don't think so. I want to talk about something. Ramon sent me. I'm here to take you to him. I'd sooner eat an anti-bio landmine than go anywhere with you. Ramona wants to uh, me out of my level because I watch the targets hit her clan cons. Ramon didn't seem violent. He just wants to talk. Isn't that better than hiding? I didn't listen to others when I was young. I certainly won't start now. Tell Ramona she ought to come here herself. She act if she actually cares. By the way, what what kind of information did we get now? It's about the alley, right? All right, here. Uh, blood stain and tooth trays. Also, the trolls or the clans might be involved. Huh. Trolls of the clan. Who may know what the boy? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, maybe. Let's talk to this kind of man. Mention investigation. I think I need more information about the trolls and more information about the clan. I, I have no idea what, what all that means. So let's talk to Ramon. Uh, I found a uh, Panizanto. Look at you, all proud and shit. Why haven't you brought him here? I've changed my mind. If you want to spook him or remove him from twisting the surf, you're on your own. Whatever. Why do I always have to do everything myself? Maybe I didn't get the information I wanted. Yes, well, a quest that failed. Nah, nah, nah.
There was being all nice and everything. What's that? Is there something interesting? No. No. Let's see. Interesting. But maybe we should look into this developer stack, huh? That could be helpful. All right. More information here? Oh, here's something. Graffiti. The people need beauty, especially the kind that create themselves. Realium and Virtualia are more and more attractive. But that's because of anonymous activity, often AI. People want to create something to express themselves or to stress well the individual actually means something among 20 billion people. Graffiti does exactly uh, that in the lower layers of the poles, of the police. I am, I exist, I mean something. Graffiti usually means something else as well in virtual area. This place is different. So, uh, the graffiti, does, graffiti doesn't look like it was made by AI. The stains and sloppy curves are proof of uh, that it was made by a human. The wall paintings are, uh, are sometimes created, but not by players, but by designers. They point to a nearby developer stack. I turn on the game deck stack and start to look for familiar sequence in the, ti in the Chi Tong characters. I finally discover a science of the tool. I remove the line responsible for the transparency and see the access panel. There I go now. Interesting, interesting. I see. An abstract sculpture composed of frozen screens. High City has similar installations. They allegedly stimulate your imagination. The hor horizontal Windows flash and eject slightly in the place. I hold my hand. The stack is on. Let's look at the history. I've moved my fingers along the window edges and choose the one which recent operations. Just two results. The lock and screen and the local scan. There was a scan that was stopped. The report covers the list of errors that blocked it. There are hundreds of defects at this level, many of them are, are big enough to cause glitches. But the program has applied a filter to make them invisible. Oh, turn off the filter. Right. I turn off the filter. I touch the right window. It requires additional translation. Admin TPA. O6M is still locked into the device and should be somewhere nearby. Show the ad. There. What's she doing? I don't get it. She's walking kind of like... Doesn't make any sense. Players already get to see the glitch up. Dutch arrows can take various forms. This one is... Perhaps something more real than the old reality. This is not, not why our brains arrange the chaos around us. So we don't go crazy. Or perhaps the reality that's crazy. I feel vibrating pain inside my head. Initially distant, keeps drilling deeper with every second. My deck detects some object in the center of the pitch. It's a dagger. It flashes and its transparency changes aggressively. There are invisible errors in this LA. I see their signatures in the deck. Some of them are interfering with the blinking of the dagger which means that they are connected. If I can, I find the right ones. Maybe I can unlock something. Oh. 
I try to overcome the increasing pain as I reach the weapon. My fingers go right through the handle, as if it were a holo project. The blade materializes a few milliseconds and wounds my hand. Then it disappears again. Indeed, I need to remove the glitch if I want to get a closer look. I move my hand close. It seems cold and sharp. When I cut, when it cuts through my skin, my head explodes with a geyser of sounds. A babbling impulse shoots through my veins, burns me inside like mortal lead, whirls inside my stomach and shoots out in the direction of other arrows inside the alley. Oh, interesting. And suddenly it's over. The glitches fade away and I'm whole again. I've learned the location of the system's weak points, but my numb mind has trouble remembering them. Observe which glitches are the correct ones and the intact with them. to look again, huh? Ah, damn it. I have to... Oh, what's that? Oh, yeah. Ah, I should have observed better. Right, so... Over there and there. Mm -hmm. I think I know now where to go. Uh... Oh, okay, right. And the other one should be here. Ah, uh, thief, leave me alone. That's not what I want. And true. Senior Chu, would you kindly come? There's a glitch here, and I just need to address it. Um, okay. Can I tell him to go somewhere else? I, I just need to die. There's a dead one. It's not that one, right? Uh, Yeah, heaven and hell. So where where are the pictures? But I think I have already fixed them, right? Is there another one? Uh, we down down here, huh? Okay. All right. So she's dead. Exactly. Goes to another one over down there. Okay. I think he is one. Yes. So.
Is that done? <coughs> Do I have to fix all the glitches or I'll turn them not fix the glitches? That's a strange minigame, huh? So touch the glitch. Let's see. Again. This one, ah, wherever she stops, that's where, that's where the glitch is. Yeah, works exactly. Yeah, I've been there. Okay, okay, okay. <coughs> okay. Okay, now. Kehan, not funny. Uh, and then here somewhere. Yeah, that's it. That should be it. Right? Touch the glitch. Touch the glitch. Okay, maybe if I... Um, what's that here? I can't tell if the glitches... Sounds very much like Prodom. Uh, oh, 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 wait, wait, wait. Uh, can I be a pro... Mm, I can't be a pro... Uh, because I'm missing something. Maybe I should talk to somebody else for a moment. I need you to take a look at one of the alleys on this level. You've been there for a while. Any advice? A backed alley? The one in the south? I haven't checked it out yet, yet but people are talking. If it's broken, as they say, then you will want to start with the... Developer stack. Should be hidden there. Well, so far so good. I think we have that already covered. Do you know anything about what took place in the South LA? Not really my division game tech. I'm not sure anyone is debugging there right now. But you can ask the old geezers. They probably see uh, see anyone going in and out of there. Yeah. That's great. Fantastic.
I feel a bit trapped right now. Ah, maybe she, she knows. Umbra. You have people find meaning here? Oh, you think meaning is only where you can see it? It's easy to help happy people, but happy people don't come here. Our clan provides truth, knowledge, the depths of life. But your mind is more closed than corporate databases. You don't get it. These glitches are a bit annoying. Do any of my audience have an idea how that works? Do I have to finish all of them or...? Right, I think I'm gonna save here, and hmm. I could just, you know, a step in the dark and just say, "Whoa, it was the trolls," and see where, where it leads me. All right, no data, no data, no data. But talk to the unicorn. Okay, now I need to talk to the unicorn. Apparently, never mind the glitch. Hello, horse. I'm a game tech and. I'm no horse. He said and involuntarily start, started chewing on the end of my coat, just as horses would. What I am is a unicorn, and what unicorns do is bring magic and glimmer of happiness in life. Chief, he's a troll. There aren't any skins like this on uh, one around. I'd watch out for that one. Better yet, pull a bullet in him. I'm looking for the trolls that roam this level of the game. A unicorn's life is hard, and with magic he is barred. By a game tech with no regard, and won't take a chance and draw a card. I found hoofmarts in the alleys. There's no chance anyone left them by yourself. What were you doing there? I can't remember. I'm sad because I'm a unicorn, and unicorns are supposed to bring joy and magic. But I haven't done so with you. Maybe you were, if you were to see my trick. I'm looking for a new player, sporting an expensive skin. One shouldn't talk to strangers. If you were my rainbow friend, we prance and share secrets all day long. But friends let friends show them tricks. You can appear to remind me of an ad from Rainbow Adventures, a game for rich kids from High City. This 3D model is not intended for a player use. That's what NPCs from Rainbow Adventures look like. You shouldn't be using it. It's not a skin, and I'm a 
I'm a real unicorn. And Rainbow Adventures is what I experience every day through giving folks magic and joy. Do you want to rub my horn? You're a human. Don't you, don't you remember? Remember? I tried to speak softly. In, if he meant, uh, I tried to speak softly. If he meant it, then he's in a bad spot. You mean to tell me I'm not a real unicorn? Well, maybe you're not a real boy. He knights outraged. Maybe it was a different. It was different ones. But now, after magic horn, I'm always pranced with joy. He was sure of his magic horse identity. Can you show me the script that was run when you became a unicorn? What script? What? I was always a unicorn. I emerged from children's fantasies and good intentions. Pity. Because you know, if I had a piece of code like that, maybe I could also be a unicorn. Or give it to someone who wanted to become one. The only thing that's better than a unicorn is two unicorns. He agreed wholeheartedly and gave me a card with a code. A joker. Right, so <laughs> I need to be a sensory surgeon to help him. Uh, that's gonna be tricky. Alright, so how much do I need? This one. Do I need all oh, red? Do I need here as well? Uh, maybe I shouldn't have gone all sensory celebrity. Oh boy! <coughs> the question what do we do I can turn him back into a human with five green and two of the others one of the blue uh, but I don't have that hmm. all right then let's see it Oh yes, pick a card. <coughs> Come on, Ken. Can't you see this getting ah oh, getting sad? Do him a solid and pick a card. Chief, he's a troll. I didn't have solid by not shooting her on sight. Pick this one. Great, just blend it. Now focus the card, keep it close. Mm. That's a great start. Somebody's annoying. Uh huh. So, what do I have? I get all the other compassion and, and empathy and everything. What I do need is rules. Apparently, I need rules and logic, and discretion, and accuracy. Right. So I'm I'm creative and compassionate, but I need logic. I need more logic. Right. We are not compassionate anymore. All right. What's a troll one? So now I'm in the road. Guess you trick the magic portal behind the generator. Ah. Woo. I know, that's where a call of adventure begins. The entrance is between the three old guys and the entrance behind the magic generator. But my mm, find more But my magic friend, maybe the adventure started right here with you. In every good story there's a magic creature at the beginning. 
waiting to reveal a tiny part of the mystery. Oh, I reveal as something, all right. There's a magical encoded card. Use it next time, uh, next to the magical generator. Your journey will follow the glittery trail. It took out the bits covering, covered king of spades. After a quick scan, I find the code on it. With this card, you can summon the king. Just call out. Oh, king, enough chatter. Open the gate through the space and matter. Don't be a quitter. Come very, cl very glitter. So, uh, of the alley? I found hoof marks in the alley. There's no chance anyone left them but yourself. What were you doing there? The tick sent me. I mean, the king of the trolls. Unicorns always <coughs> do trolls. Especially ticks. He said it with conviction. He sounded strange. Being a unicorn didn't seem to serve him well. Someone sent you down an alley. You went there and took something small. I saw the trace. I was to find out about those glitches and look for the girl. The girl wasn't there, but there was a card with the code on the, to the glitches. The king was so conserved at the code that he disappeared. Maybe, maybe he'll be back. Right. Okay. Decided not sense of the discipline of the trolls glitches. I think that was a correct decision, maybe? Hmm. Because there's no indication for clans. Huh. Alright, alright, alright. Five of these. I have I'm missing to a red one. We don't know. Uh, so maybe I hmm. do I leave this LA as it is, or do I go uh, to to this troll kingdom, whatever that may be? Do I have more, enough information here. I found it, but I'm not a programmer. I can't just remove there. So I'm. I'm pretty much out of the loop right here. So let's see how this how this troll business works. Uh use still at this time, okay. No then it must be here somewhere, huh? Behind them. Right, th these are these are the guys, right? Uh, or does he know anything? Uh, <coughs> hmm, hmm, hmm. Find it more. Run the exploit on the old aggregate. The old aggregate? What do you mean? Oh, I, wait, wait, wait. Uh, you mean the developer stack? Alright. No, that's 
Huh. Okay. Uh, uh, what you are, PPP. Hmm. You suspect suspect trolls. Okay. There's nothing I can do here. Right. I think I'm gonna end the stream for now. Just like grab something to eat. I in maybe in half an hour or so. I'm gonna see uh, start another stream. Um. I'm gonna save this, but I'm gonna stream Blade Runner afterwards, which is an adventure from 1999, and it's uh, it captures the feeling of the movie very well. But it's not based on the movie; it's just the same atmosphere and a different story that is similar to the Philip K. Dick. Well, ra rather the what is it, John Carpenter, who did the movie? It keeps closer to the movie than to the to the to the novelization. Um, right. Anyway, thank you for watching, and have a good day, good night, and whatever. Bis dann, have fun, bye bye.